So I was not planning on making any New Year's resolutions at all because I don't know, I kind of was just thinking about how silly they are and how I really never like stay true to them. But then today when I got on YouTube, I was watching a bunch of New Year's resolutions videos and I kind of decided that I sort of did want to make a couple. I made more than a couple. I have nine resolutions. I'm not like super determined to keep them. It's kind of just something I thought I would do. And I made a New Year's resolutions video like two years ago. I didn't stick with any of them. But I think it's just a very suitable video to put up on the first of the year. So here are my New Year's resolutions. So number one on my list is to run without having any issues. So I run cross country and track and I just love running in general. I just have fallen in love with the sport and I recently have been having lots of issues with running. Like I just have been having lots of issues with fainting while running and just not having good runs at all. I've been seeing lots of doctors to try to figure out why this is happening and to try to figure out what I can do so I can start running again. Really I'd like to run outdoor track. I'm not able to run indoor track but I'd like to be um healthy again so I can run outdoor track in the spring but really just by the end of the year I want to be able to run and go on a nice long run and not have to worry about fainting or passing out or not being able to finish the workout anything like that so that is probably my number one resolution that I want to achieve by the end of the year but number two is a pretty popular one I think and it's the 50 book challenge and basically um, there's this list, I'll try to insert it down below, I'll put a link down below where I'll put in a picture. It's basically a list of 50 different types of books to read. So like a book you were supposed to read but you didn't, like a romance novel, a sci-fi sci novel, stuff like that. And I really love reading and I have not been reading like at all. So I really think that'd be a good thing for me to do. Number three is to scrapbook. And I have never really scrapbooked before. My mom used to really be into scrapbooking. And I just thought of this one today, like as I was kind of going through my camera roll on my iPod, I was like, I did not take nearly enough pictures this past year. And so I want to make this year like a year that I really want to take pictures of and document and remember everything. And I was watching Lily Pebbles, um, she's a YouTuber, I'll put her video down below. She did a whole video on how she scrapbooks and kind of looking at her scrapbook and I was so impressed. I really, really want to have a book that I can just look back over at the end of the year and it's, everything's in there that would be oh, that'd be so cool and I just really want to take more pictures this year and kind of capture more moments so I really would like to at the end of the year have a really cool scrapbook that I can look over and everything will be in there especially since this is a pretty big year for me I'm gonna be graduating and going to college so I hope there'll be lots of, you know, big events that I need to scrapbook. Going off of that, number four is to graduate from high school. I think I can do it. I think this will probably be the easiest one to achieve. And then along with that, I have to choose a college. I have three colleges. Well, I've gotten into one. I haven't gotten into the other two. So really, I only have one college to choose from right now. But assuming I get into the other two universities I've applied to, I'll have three to choose from. <sighs> oh my gosh, it stresses me out just thinking about it right now. So hopefully... I will um, make the right choice and choose where I want to go to school next year. Number five is to have an exciting summer. And I really have not had the most exciting summers the past couple of years. I spend a lot of them babysitting, and I like babysitting, don't get me wrong, the two boys that I babysit are too sweet. But this summer, um, I think I probably still will babysit, but I want to do more like traveling, I guess. I want to go um, to the beach a couple times. I want to just visit family and friends and just do, I don't know, kind of spur of the moment, just summary things. Number six is to put more into and get more out of making YouTube videos. I have really been debating with myself um, the past month or two if I even want to continue making YouTube videos. I feel like I just don't get as much out of it as I used to. I don't have any number goals, like I don't have a certain amount of subscribers or views that I want to achieve. I just want to get more out of it like I used to. I used to get so much out of making YouTube videos and I kind of want to bring that back. I'd like to get back into making YouTube videos more regularly and making the kind of videos that I want to make, not the kind of videos that will just be popular. Number seven is kind of like a cliche cheesy one, but it's um to stop wasting time and seize the day, carpe diem. <laughs> and yeah, basically that says it all. I spend so much time just sitting around doing nothing, being bored, when there's so many things I can go out and do because I have a car, I have a license, and I have friends who can drive, so it's now's the time for me to like be able to go out and just do random stuff. Number eight is, I don't know, also kind of a cheesy one. It's to be happy with the way that I look every day. And for me, that kind of means putting more effort into how I look every day. And I know there's like a big movement against wearing makeup and like girls having to put so much effort into how they look. 
But I don't know, I really enjoy wearing makeup and putting effort into how I look and looking nice every day and that just makes me feel good about myself. So I want to do more of that and have fun with makeup and hair and fashion and not be so worried about what others will think of me based on what how I look. My last and final resolution is to get my braces off. I still have braces. I am a senior in high school. It is, believe me, the most frustrating thing ever. And hopefully I'll be getting them off um, sometime in February. So fingers crossed that they actually let me get them off this time because I've gone a couple times expecting for them to be like, yep, you can get them off next time. And then they, that's not what they say. Those are my nine New Year's resolutions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry again for not making videos for a while. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.